Oh, welcome back, my faithful viewers, and welcome to another video. As you can see, we've got a feast in front of us. <laughs> We're just going to have a regular dinner, uh, chit-chat, talk about what's been going on here in the news, wherever. But first, a sippy sippy. Oh. Mm, that is delicious. And I need a bite. Now, I haven't found these in years. My favorite Chinese restaurant used to have these. Can't get them no more. Haven't for, ooh, since the panorama came around. And I've been looking for a place that knows how to make a good coconut shrimp. Found it. So we're going to cross your fingers and hope this turns out. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Ain't a little much, but I can deal with that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful. Ooh. Now you're gonna have a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Over here, we got some fried sea scallops. Mm-hmm. 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 I want to concentrate on my shrimps. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. You know, mm. of all the nationalities I have in me, the only one I don't have is Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Which I was really disappointed in. Mm. Mm. Because I love the food. I love Asian food. I know, I know it's Americanized. Mm. But this is so yummy. Oh my gosh, so yummy. Mm. Maybe I should have put gloves on. <laughs> oh. oh, look how yummy that is. Mmm. 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 The saltiness, the sweetness, of just the right amount of crunch. The the shrimp is so tender. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
This is so good. This is incredibly good. I love it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is good. So, place knows how to make a good coconut shrimp. I think I'll stay with them. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Um, I know some of you guys heard already, but most of you didn't. Because I keep private things private. Oh boy, did we have a week last week. <laughs> By the time you get this video, the issue would have been resolved. But someone tried. Oh! Someone tried to drive off with the car that we had no idea who they were. Mm hmm. I don't want to say any, you know. Don't want to say too much. But, um. They knew. For some reason, they knew what the blind spot of the, of the security cameras were. Anything. When we first moved in here, everything was okay. Then certain people found out we are a same-sex couple. And all of a sudden we had problems with the neighbors back there. We don't see it, but in the morning when we wake up, things would be destroyed. You know, like one time, when someone cut the tulips, the flowers off all of my tulips. Mm -hmm. It was a nice clean break. All of them gone. And not like you know you cut at the base to take the flower home with you. Mm -mm. Just the top. And the, and the flowers were on the ground to let us know that they were there. And someone tried to kill one of my cherry trees when I first planted it. Um. One year I grew a really nice pumpkin patch. All of a sudden that started dying. And I saw and spray something on it. <laughs> My pool pop. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. So what you're seeing is a brand new pool out there. Um But yeah, it was, um, we had to, we, we installed security cameras. Anyway. Mm. 
whoever did the whoever tried to break the the back window was broken. In the back passenger side. And for some reason whoever did this knew to stay out the the trigger of the camera. So adjustments will be made. That ain't gonna happen no more. What's funny is that the, it's all that effort for nothing because they thought that you see, someone posted online uh, how to steal a particular brand of car because there was a manufacturing fault and the company knew about it but they allowed the car to be made anyways okay ours is a newer model without that flaw so when they went through the effort of trying to take the car without our knowledge they popped off the steering column and figured Oh crap, <laughs> this doesn't look like the last one because it wasn't. Yeah, so, which got me to thinking if you spent all that effort into breaking other people's stuff and get a job, you could have had that money in your pocket. You know? But you know what? We have insurance. We have a means of getting it fixed. We have a substitute car. I'm okay. My only thing is why? Why steal from people that are trying to struggle and make it like yourself? You know, we're all trying to struggle. We're all trying to make it. Why are you you're gonna make it even harder on people that's struggling like you? Mm hmm. I don't know why. Hmm. I know it seems easy to just take from someone else. It is much easier, but smoking and investing all that money, not all that money, I mean all that time, you're investing all that time, all that energy to possibly coming up empty. I hope it was worth it. You know, you're wasting your time. Mm. And if they get if they get caught down the road and they're connected to the um, to that, you know, to this little fiasco, is it gonna be worth it then? I don't understand people. This is why I stay in my own little bubble. Now I don't hurt nobody. I don't say nothing to nobody. I just want to be here and have a good time. Mm-hmm. Mm. You got to decide if you want to be here and have a good time too. Because if you do, you can come out along. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is delicious. I'm going to dip my scallops in the extra sauce down there. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. I bet that's going to taste good. Mm-hmm. 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 And that is some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So anyway. Mm. 
My garden's coming along nicely, as you all can see. Mm hmm Mm. 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 We harvest our fur. We harvest um, cabbage. Oh my gosh, we use cabbage. The corn, the corn needs to get bigger. But they're coming along great. Um, the Oprah plant. Oh my God. Mmm. A little bit of effort. And uh, wasting my time doing something that may or may not get me somewhere. I put my effort into doing something that I know is going to get me somewhere. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 Oh, they put a lot of garlic in that. Mmm. Mmm. So that's all coming along nicely. What what do you guys do? What do you do when someone does horrible things? How do you let that go? How do you deal with it? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be mad. I'm not happy about it. I I don't want to say it don't bother me, but it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm not going to say it's no big deal, but it is a big deal, but at the same time, the anger is not there. I don't know why, but the anger is not there. Yeah. Maybe I just have too much in my life to be happy about. <laughs> mm. Mm. I just think I have way too much to deal with, to worry about, not even to worry about. Tend to. Mm hmm. I have a lot in my life to tend to, to keep up with too many positive things, you know. I guess nobody's happy it happened. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. A little itchy. <laughs> nobody's happy it happened, but eh. it happened with me. Insurance was called. I'll be dealt with. Anyway. Hmm. Well, what's your favorite, what's your favorite Chinese food? Hmm. That was a tale. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I guess I picked out some of the Put you up the corner, and we will throw you away when we're done. <laughs> What's your favorite Chinese food to eat? Is it hot and spicy, or sweet and sour? I'm a sweet and sour kind of person. Mm, I'm gone. Mm. 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 Oh, 
that is one more. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 You never guess what happened today. <laughs> I swear, I joke about this happening, but it really did happen. And then my wife was driving down the road. And we got into a school zone. And Speedy Gonzalez in a big old Ford pickup. He's, he's going, he's pulling, weaving in and out of traffic. There's two lanes, school zone, going this way, okay? Because it's a racist stoplight. And we didn't know it was a racist stoplight. We were participated, okay? Racist stoplight. Guess what? We pull up next to each other at the stoplight. That was so not worth it if he would have gotten caught. Of course, we would have died fucking laughing. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah, that's a lot of wallet. Mm. Oh, let me leave you with this story. <laughs> Of all the crazy stuff coming out of Florida, <laughs> people <laughs> were calling 911. And 911 was getting inundated with a bunch of calls about the sea life being in distress. And that they were. They were, there was a lot of noise, a lot of splashing around. And the animals were making a lot of, you know, commotion. 911 comes by. And the officers were like, okay, there is sea life. It was a bunch of manatee. And they were almost, they almost beached themselves. And they were making noise in the thrashing around and rolling around in the water. So they call the wildlife. The officer from the wildlife comes by, observes what's going on, turns to the officer and the people and proceeds to explain it is manatee mating season. Well, manatee don't have a season. They breed all year round. But sometimes, depending on the situation, they get into herds, what's called a mating herd. So you see like five or six bodies like swimming around and jostling around. And oh, yeah. I didn't know the sea life got that freaky dinky. <laughs> So it was quite embarrassing for the people. <laughs> the manatee didn't give to, didn't care. <laughs> I mean, the, you could go on you could go on YouTube and pull up the clips, the news clips, 
and the news reporter is there doing the, you know, with the cameraman, the sound man, the boom is there. And in the background of this news anchor, <laughs> you can see, oh, 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 my God, can you imagine being the officer being called to a shag party with a bunch of manatees? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I thought I was going to eat more than this. I have four scallops left. Uh, one of the egg rolls, because I ate half on each. I think I only ate one of that and half of this. My God, I got a lot of food. And I didn't even touch the rice. That will not go to waste. Mm -mm. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and having dinner with me. And I hope some of this stuff was entertaining to you. So, if you've been here this long, would you please put a shrimp in the comment below so I know I wasn't by myself all this time, please, and share me out so other people can see me too. Um, anyway, guys, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst. I guarantee you, we're all going to end up somewhere in the middle. So, till next time, bye!